Hey guys, Patrick here. I'm a PhD student at Oxford and in this series I share the best study tips and hacks that I've been using myself. Today's video is on how to search for research papers. This video will be split into two main parts, searching for papers and focusing on peer-reviewed papers. Use the chapters down below to navigate between these two parts. Right, let's do it. I use a combination of Google Scholar, the university database, and because my subject area lies within the natural sciences, I also use the search engine PubMed, which is excellent and has an easy to use user interface. There are many great search engines available for a given subject, you just have to Google them or ask your group members or supervisor, etc. If you're looking for papers from a specific journal, like genomics, you can directly search on those journal websites, but I've never done it in this way because I find enough papers through the search engines. Next, do citation tracing. Once you find a paper from the previously mentioned main sources, then look for papers that cite that paper. For instance, on Google Scholar, you do this by clicking on Cited By, and you can then sort it by relevance or by date. This way, you explore papers that are both relevant and similar to that original paper. Next, use connected papers. I posted a video on my YouTube and TikTok in the past where I talked about the usefulness of connected papers as a tool to find similar papers that are relevant to your field of interest. With connected papers, you can sort papers based on similarity, the number of references, citations, and the year it was published in. So when would I actually use connected papers? Once I've done the citation tracing and explored the relevant papers in the references section of the original paper, I want to make sure I haven't missed any papers that may be important and similar. Connected papers is built for exactly this purpose. It will also give you a list of similar papers even though they don't directly cite each other. That way, you don't miss anything. Most of the articles you come across are likely peer-reviewed anyways, especially if it's a high-impact journal. The best way to filter for peer-reviewed articles is to use your university online library. Here is an example of my university and you can see that I can filter specifically for peer-reviewed articles only. Another way is to check the electronic journal's homepage. It will tell you if the articles are peer-reviewed. For instance, here's Genomics, a high-impact factor journal. Go to the bottom of the page and click on further information for the authors. Control F for peer reviewed, and it will likely give you a result. In this example, it says that all submissions to genomics are subject to rigorous peer review, i.e. any paper you come across from genomics, you know that that paper will be peer reviewed. As far as I know, you cannot filter for peer reviewed articles on Google Scholar or PubMed. If you're in a field outside of the biological or physical sciences, you may use a different search engine, but check on their website or on Google whether you can filter for peer reviewed articles. If you're writing a thesis, paper, or literature review, don't forget to ask your group members, peers, or supervisor for guidance to search for papers that are specific to your fields. Google Scholar, university databases, and search engines that are relevant to your field of interest, like PubMed in my case, are the best ways to search for papers. I would also recommend using connected papers to find similar papers that you may have missed, but their website is especially useful if you're doing a literature review. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe as I honestly just want to make your life as a student easier with these videos. Comment down below what study tips you want to explore and I will try to answer them in future videos. Thank you.